During my time as a chaser, I've encountered numerous gorgeous displays of nature in the form of monstrous alien mothership-esque supercells. Supercell thunderstorms are nature's most violent storms, and they are responsible for producing the vast majority of tornadoes, and essentially every violent tornado. These storms are capable of producing massive hail, destructive winds, torrential rain, and as mentioned, tornadoes. Today, we're going to take an in-depth look at some of the most breathtaking mothership supercells that I've documented over the years. We start off our list in central Oklahoma for number 5. On May 6, 2024, a rare high risk was issued by the SPC, and although I don't necessarily believe that the high risk verified, it sure did deliver some absolutely stunning supercell structure. An eerie green glow emanated from the dense hail core as it plowed through the Oklahoma countryside. This supercell actually ended up spawning several tornadoes, including a pair of twins that we narrowly escaped from. There we go. Do we have two funnels? We got. I think we got two. Oh, it's about to come down. Shit, this is not. It was a very close call. Justin Sneed, Ricky Forbes, and I barely made it out in front of the circulation. You're good. Right. This supercell produced some extremely powerful cloud ground lightning, adding to the terrifying ambiance. For number four, we venture into the dense forests of Stixie Alley in far western Alberta for this absolute machine of a supercell that churned through the hilly forests on July 2nd, 2025. The massive rotating storm provided some absolutely phenomenal photography and videography. The incredibly rural nature of the region allowed for this atmospheric monster to grow for hours without directly impacting any major towns. Windy right now. Extremely As I approached the storm, menacing as a cyclone continued to ramp up in intensity, producing massive hail and destructive winds. But I sure get Ooh. Yeah, maybe not. Due to very poor road networks, I wound up having to core punch this beast of a storm as massive ping pong ball to tennis ball size hail battered my vehicle. Number three, we remained in western Alberta for this absolutely incredible golden hour supercell that rolled across west central Alberta on the evening of August 18th, 2024. Just after 5.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a single lone supercell would develop between Nordag and Rocky Mountain House. This supercell would have access to abundant low-level moisture from morning fog and an impressive atmospheric environment out in front of its eventual track. There's the hail plains heading towards the storm to go seed it and try and prevent uh, hail from getting any larger than it needs to be. But uh, we'll see how effective that ends up being. <laughs> Just some unreal mothership structure here from the supercell. Although I was hesitant at first, given the poor terrain where the storms would fire, by the late evening, a beautiful supercell emerged from the forests and spun over the Alberta countryside for hours. Wow. Some very impressive structure. And the wall cloud's trying. Hard.
Okay, let's move. We're right in the notch here. The gorgeous golden hour sunlight created a vast array of colors and hues against the massive mesocyclone. I was, yeah, I didn't even notice the left. Yeah, there's any That's a big pole. There's left right there, too. Yeah. Would you look at that? <laughs> With number two, we have the final Albertan entry on this list, and it really needs no introduction. On the early afternoon of July 1st, 2023, a rare and exceptionally violent tornado reached the ground a mere 40 miles north of Calgary, one of Canada's most populous cities. Alberta right now. A massive low precipitation mesocyclone made for some incredible photography of both the supercell and the tornado itself. This tornado was so powerful, it managed to toss around a 10,000 kilogram combine like it was a toy car. Okay, so we are gonna go towards Didsbury area and we're gonna we're gonna go help some people here. These are yeah, these are gonna be big. Shit. Uh, we're gonna send it to the west here. See if we can get the hell out of here. The destruction left in the aftermath of this tornado was horrific. But thankfully, due to the powerful Canadian resolve of the people of Alberta, we were able to get those survivors back on their feet. Thankfully, no lives were lost on this day, further emphasizing the importance of early warning and public preparedness. Finally, we've reached my number one favorite alien mothership supercell, and it's the 2024 Midland, Texas supercell that spawned a violent EF3 tornado, prompting a rare tornado emergency. On the morning of May 30th, 2024, all required ingredients for a classic late spring severe weather day came into place. Fueled by CAPE levels in excess of 3,500 joules per kilogram, effective bulk shear values approaching 40 knots, and extremely steep lapse rates, the environment was primed for explosive supercellular development. And if we end up having to just do this by eyeballing it, we have to make sure we don't miss turns. I set up in western Texas, where an impressive updraft caught my eye on radar at around 4 o'clock local time. This updraft would increase exponentially in size and intensity as it rode along the southeast to northwest oriented boundary that would collide with the dry line, resulting in an extremely favorable environment ahead of the cell. It's in there, it's in there somewhere.
As we maneuvered around the churning mesocyclone, the massive wedge tornado began to emerge from behind a thick wall of dust. It's hidden behind that. It's hidden behind that wall of dust now. I had it for a minute. Shit, I had it. Uh, it's it, it's right there. Do you see the fire? Yeah. Look to the right. Can pull off here. Yeah. Yep. Swallowed by this thing, and I'm not gonna have time to film. As the storm approached, we got caught on a dead-end road, forcing us to stop. Shortly thereafter, large baseball-sized chunks of ice began to fall from the sky. Yeah, I definitely heard some hail. It's a good thing we didn't move because we, it looks like we threaded the needle out of the hail core. Mostly. Although I did lose a windshield due to hail damage, this remains, for me, one of my favorite chases I've ever done. Yeah, there's one that's almost... Oh, definitely, there's, a, there's definitely a big baseball big. right there. Hopefully that's it for the really big stuff. Oh, maybe not. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I'm really trying to get my channel to grow the storm season, so if you love watching Mother Nature's Fury as much as I do, subscribe to the channel because I've got a lot of content I think you'll really enjoy. See you all in the next one.